Hey YouTube, Land is Tycandrus there doing another action figure review. Well, it's an action figure vehicle review. And this is the review for the new as as of 2019 new Sky Strike, which is the aerial combat jet by the core, which is Leonard's um flagship kind of toy line. And it is their uh the core elite basically. They've gotten a new fighter for these guys and this is supposed to be the good guys the core themselves this is their own fighter so it comes disassembled in the box and I'll go on about the box now before I go on about the vehicle now I'll just move it aside completely so the box is fairly large I'm sure if you can see it all in screen so the box is pretty pretty large it's a large window window style box um, I haven't taken the smoke figure out because I have one loose anyway and it's the exact same figure and I haven't taken these accessories out uh, it also comes with the time crisis issue one comic which I've already reviewed in the two packs it's the same one that comes with the two packs so the vehicle is horizontal on the uh, in the box, the wings are hidden behind this big global trained, globally trained ready to fight logo, and then the smaller wings, because uh, there is some assemb assembly required, are just folded in where the um, accessories for smoke are. Uh, there is some interesting. Let me see if I can move the light off. Here. So there is. And just bear with me a moment. Let me just decrease the strength of that light. There is interesting artwork there on the side. It looks to be a kind of new character and the same with down here. It looks like characters that we haven't seen before on the background. It is possible these they might be just character designs that they're toying with or it might be characters that they might be coming out with. I don't know. Uh, it does sport a 18 inch wingspan. So it is quite a large wingspan jet, and if I flop, flip around to the back of the box, it shows some of the key features. So it has lights and sounds, um, dual motion forward front arch, alternating light and sound guns. Uh, the sounds come from the actual movement. And then you got a a front swivel canopy, folding landing gear and easy snapping wings. Now once the wings are in they're designed not to be snapped back out and so I'll show that in a second and then it is a two-seated two -seated cockpit so you can actually fit two figures in there which I have currently so if I just bring her in you can see I have two Cobra figures in here so to open up the cockpit there's a little latch that you open up and if I can just bring her around, it might be easier if I just move the camera. There is a detailed interior in the cockpit, and then there's a single cockpit sticker which is pre applied. Now, all the stickers on this side of the plane are pre applied. So you have the Bad Badger symbol, the kill markings, the BV and CF, and this marking is all pre applied. There is a sticker sheet, and that basically has these big white and black markings this big symbol if I flip around to the opposite side there's the same one now I did fudge up putting on these the ones that should be aligned with the opposite side but because the button is here I kind of aligned it a little bit different you have the caution uh, sign on this side you have these two stickers that are on the tail fins and then you have the opposite side of this one and this marking on the bottom as well. You're basically just taking the same stickers that are already applied on the one side and just reapplying it to the opposite side with the exception of the wings because they aren't attached. Uh, so the wings just basically clip in but once they're in they're in. And as I said it does have an action feature. So you have a big red button just dropped over my light. So you have a big red button on the side of the plane, and when you press in that button, you have a, a 
as this is a alternating light and sound gunfire effect with lights which is quite nice uh, just to show core figures in there so I just take out the two cover figures there's a um, control stick as well for figures so to get the figure that comes with it into the plane and because he is close by I have trick shot so you can actually put in core figures quite easily so you have smoking trick shot in there and it's quite nicely detailed let's just take out the figures you can also fit any of the course figures in there as well you don't have to stick with the good guys you can have the bad guys seal the plane if you want so you can have them quite comfortably sit in there and you can actually think you can fit if you collect them Fortnite figures in there easily enough so figures like um, Raptor did fit in there nicely. He is designed to look like an old um, World War II bomber pilot. So, so flipping around, you can see the landing gear. Now it is a little awkward to see. Let me just tilt the camera up a bit. Bear with me a moment. So there is landing gear, it is, the wheels do roll on the front ones and they do fold in quite nicely. There is also a landing gear on the back but the wheel is stationary, it doesn't actually roll but it is, does clip in and when it is clipped in or when you do fold it in there is a little tab that you can push to help bring it down and then you just pull it down all the way. There is some nice engine detailing. I'm not sure if it's picking it up there, but there's turbines inside the exhaust here, so it's not just a blank space. Uh, there is exhaust detail in the front to engine areas as well, and there is detail under wing as well. It's not just plain and blank underneath, and it is quite a nice jet. So, just to get a measurement. With me one moment while I try and get the whole plane into shot here. It's quite a big, large space. Let me just move this out of the way. So, if I do a measurement from tip to tail, it is around just 20 inches, and the wings, as they say, are 18 inches. For the front and height while with the wing or with the wheels to the highest point which would be just the tip of the canopy or actually would the nose be a bit higher it would be around five inches to yeah about five yeah it's around five inches as they seem to level out oh, but then the tail then is a lot deeper but overall, it's a really cool jet. I do recommend picking them up. They have just started hitting shelves over here in Ireland. I'm not sure about the release dates for the US. They should be soon enough, because I think they're making a push to bring out all the new core core elite or core time crisis, as they're called now. And they're making a push to bring those over to the States. So keep your eyes peeled. I think they're Walmart exclusive. I could be wrong, could be Target, but I have a feeling they're supposed to be Walmart. But they should be sh turning up uh, soon enough. So there you go, guys. A quick video review for the uh, Sky Strike uh, Bad Badger jet attack jet from the court. It's a really good jet. I do recommend getting it. And if you can uh, try not pay over the price for it, they w they retail around twenty five euros here. So I'm not sure how much that works out in the US. It could be around twenty five dollars. They could be a little cheaper. So. Hope you enjoyed this video review and as I say my videos please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Cheers guys.